Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. What's up, y'all? Welcome. It's your boy MP back at it again. Episode 30. Episode 30. I'm here with a banger, you feel what I'm saying? Um, got some new content, you feel me? Uh, basically just recap on the market opening up this week and a little bit of this and a little bit of that, you feel me? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this boy cracking, you feel me? Uh, did you hear that? I don't even know if you can hear that. Can you feel that? Cause you know that I can kill that. Young and about to cut that. So, oh yeah, you already know what it is. Uh, again, welcome. Uh, so today we're really just talking about um, the week opening um because yesterday was sunday so today is monday you feel what i'm saying so here on the channel i am a barber slash trader so um i'm a beginner trader of forex which is a, a currency a foreign exchange currency for me and um yeah i trade that's what i like to do for fun i like to uh cut hair yeah for fun and uh yeah that's what we do over here on this channel and um yeah welcome hey if you like my content and like anything that i do make sure you like and uh subscribe and content i mean you know and you know comment down below because you know i always like the post with that being said um we're gonna go ahead and get this video started so this week i technically did sign up again for um the same program same program i got suspended for again if you don't know i did get suspended in my last video because i held a trade that i wasn't supposed to be holding i fell in love with the trade and i wasn't supposed to fall in love um so you disrespected me i didn't uh use my stop loss properly I did place it, but I didn't place it. So if you, you know, you if you understand, you understand. So with that being said, um, yeah, I did buy the program again, and um, I'm ready to get it started. You feel? Um, so again, hey, let's go ahead and get this boy started before somebody else try calling the game because I'm looking at the market right now, and it's doing what it's doing. Uh, for the people that don't know what the market is, the market is a chart that I'm looking at. The market is the market, the foreign exchange market, the cryptocurrency market, the finance, or oh, the um, Binance market, the not even the Binance market, my bad, scratch that off, the stock market, the binary options market. Futures market, you feel me? So all of the markets, you feel me? So options as well. So either way you go, we're gonna have to take a look. Boom. Oh, my bad. I was holding you all up right there. You feel me? Just stumbling over some stuff. You feel me? So either way you go, let's go ahead and get it cracking. We are looking at a one-hour chart of my favorite pair, GBP USD, as you can see right here in this left-hand corner. Now we are looking at trading view as you can see on the top of the cursor right up here trading view that is the website that i do use on the internet explorer now it is free technically and it just uh, allows you to analyze the market they also offer a lot of different tools over here like they show news they show um new updates um they also have you know the platform so they offer a lot of different other stuff that we're not gonna go through right now because technically we are just looking at this market. So that being said, you can look at it on your own time if you do wanna look at it or they do have videos on YouTube. Again, if you just don't wanna look at it on right now, you can look at it, you know, pull a video up on YouTube explaining how to use trading view but it's real simple it's real easy especially if you ever want to get into the market or if you wait if you ever want to get into the game of trading it's um i ain't gonna say it's the easiest thing in the world but it is like once you start diving into it it do get simpler and simpler and simpler until you able to uh simplify it enough where you can understand it and um you know create your own way of things you feel me so with that being said it is just you and the market at the end of the day not you and somebody else and then the market no it's just you and the market 
Now, it is a broker in between it. A broker is someone that, you know, offers the, um, the spreads, the, um, their platform for to allow you to trade on besides better trader okay broker it could it could be simplified to a lot of different things you feel me because a broker is used for a lot of, you know a lot of different things you know shoot you just gotta you know, i mean i have to make a, a video describing brokers to use and or what a broker is but that being said yeah, there's videos out there, again, explaining if you want uh, to go deeper in detail. With that being said, I have not made that video yet, but if someone ever wants me to make that video, make sure you comment down below just to let me know that you want me to make that type of video. But other than that, I'm going to continue with my trading experience. <laughs> my trading journey, you feel me? So again, let me go ahead and get to the boy cracking enough talking. Uh, so right now we are looking at GBPUSD. As y'all can see, this is the trade that I effed up on and blew my account on. And this is the trade I initially was supposed to take right here. As you can see, this humongous downfall, that's exactly what I was supposed to capitalize on. And or this major fucking upwards bearish market that it did that i missed so you know uh them suspending me i just had to understand and realize that they wasn't giving me my account back because i've been suspended for a couple of days now and uh, i just had to buy and i just had to um basically go register for new school so I had to buy a new account, you feel me? So with that being said, it was only a, a cheap amount. So anybody, I'm pretty sure anybody could come across $100 that can afford it. So yeah, if you want to know again, what, uh, which, um, you know, um, which firm I ended up going with, prop firm I ended up going with, I, it's not even prop firm, what uh, firm I ended up going with, uh, you could just watch back in the previous video, but either way I go, I ended up using the same one, and um, yeah, I'm ready to get it started, I'm ready to get it um, going, I'm not going to over trade this time, yeah, learn a lesson, you feel what I'm saying, learning lesson, uh, so yeah, we are looking at this hour time frames, but before we do this, we gonna go ahead and shoot out to this daily, because as you can see, it went down majorly to this major key level. Now, I am looking for a retest coming, but as of right now, it is Monday, so I'm not gonna even trade Monday. We gonna go ahead and take it, we gonna go ahead and take it slow. Go ahead, take it slow. We're going to take it slow. We're going to follow the trading plan. Now, we got another day or two until we able to trade. So, we're going to stick and rock this out. You feel me now? Yo, USD, on the other hand, we're going to take a look at that because we might make a move. You feel me? But today, GPUSD, it's going to do what it's going to do. I ain't going to even... Ain't gonna even talk crazy, you feel me? Now, as you can see, I'm looking at it right now from this daily time frame. It did make that, it did make that M formation that I said. That boom, 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 ugly M, ugh, consolidated. It wasn't even a break and retest, a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a break, retest, and ugh. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, it did what it did. I mean, that's like a break and a break and retest, and you know what I mean? You know, it's looking a little good. Now, I can't take this. Um, I want to leave this up here because it's not like it won't come back up here. Now, as of right now, it looks like it could be possibly going on a downtrend. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, scroll this all the way. When was the last time it came down here? Oh, holy shit. It went up far, far. Sheesh. I would not be surprised. We're going to go ahead and pull this out, this box out a little bit more, too. Sheesh. Just extend this box to a little bit. So, yeah, right there. Why do I got this box? What the fuck is this box for? What the fuck? 
fuck is this box for? Get the fuck. Get the fuck. Get up! Get out of here! You feel me? So, um, yeah. So we're just gonna leave these boxes up here because this should be consolidating around these areas for a minute due to the fact I don't think it's just gonna plunge through all of this as right now pretty quick, like in this month or yeah, not. I'm talking about this weekly time frame. I don't think it's gonna plunge through all of this, but it do look delicious when I going down. Holy, feel me? So, look, oh, I wouldn't be surprised if it asked where to cash it. Now, look, um, as we looking at it right now, this could be, if it continues this downtrend, uh, if it breaks and retests and continue downwards, we might need to capitalize on this. So, we're going to need to put one of them joints. I already had caught that by now. But this is where it's at right now. Looking at a time frame, we sat here before, so it's looking like it could possibly consolidate right here. I know it look a little small. I know it look a little small. You feel me? But right over there, this is where I'm at. Looks a little, little compact because it matched up all the way over here. You feel me? So you know. It's adding up a little bit, like it's gonna go back down there eventually. But where this is, where it touched all the way right here in like September of last year, like in 2021. So 2022 is gonna be coming back down, depending on what type of news might happen, just what may happen with the British pound and the US dollar. You feel what I'm saying? Um. We are in March as of right now, reaching May, close to April, you feel me? April right between there, so let me see. Mm, we'll be about right here when April starts, so sheesh. It should be continuing down, that's what I'm looking at, but as of right now, it's too early to really be telling due to the fact that it may consolidate and shoot back up for a retest. At least right here to this minor key level that I placed right here. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if it did a retest. Ask for a retest. Cause again, this blue box is not here for no reason. This blue box makes sense. Consolidated right here multiple times in it. <laughs> and it did. <laughs> and it did. <laughs> Don't forget, and it came over here multiple times to it. <laughs> <laughs> so that pushed it a couple times you feel me so again if it came up here for a retest before a re like in the middle of that april time and then may shot down oh we that would be grateful gracious oh my god you feel me that'd be crazy you feel me that'd be real crazy so really i'm just looking at the whole structure as of right now you might be thinking what are you looking at you got these whole like these black stick thing candle things air uh candlesticks with the wicks at the top and the bottom top half is indicating the top half the bottom half is indicating the bottom half now i have them black because i like to look at them black it makes it look easier for me to look at how it's really moving instead of these red white and blue candles or these green and red candles like i can't my eyes don't really like those you feel me so, ooh, let me take all of this off, you feel me? Ooh, we. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that music out in the background or shit crazy. I just got the radio playing, so don't be talking shit. But, yeah, um, anyway, go. Again, from the daily time frame. I'm still looking at the daily time frame. Let me go ahead with this. My bad, my bad. So, we're gonna go ahead and screw it down to an hour. Since you can screw it down to an hour, it did crunch up the candles. Since you can see, it does look a lot different from the how it used to look. Now, that's only because of the fact that I, cr that I scrolled down to the lower time frame and that. Yeah, I scrolled out to a lower time frame, so that's what they gonna do. They gonna mash up the candles a little more, so as like the big candles, they create these small candles, and these small candles create these smaller candles, and that's how fast they move, and they're moving really fast. That's how they do, they just create these candles, feel what I'm saying? And, um, yeah. And as again, as of right now, I wouldn't be 
wouldn't be shocked if it does a dual retest so we're looking at this hour time frame as you can see it did create this doji with this three bottoms that it never re really recovered from so uh, again um right here this area could be um could be a watch area that it could possibly come to so um this area boom and then it can continue upwards to continue all the way to the top well before it go all the way up here it has to stop right here obviously because this is the area that it likes to stop at now i can kill that could continue down after it touches up here but that's only if it gets all the way up here it has no it has no sympathy of continuing downwards from all the way right here on down or touching right here and going on down these are just things that these are just like areas that i'm you know if if it does continue to go up or if it decides to uh, change the directions like these are areas that i consider like likable areas for the you know the market and or this pair would you know go to due to the fact that um these are pair you know these are uh, areas that it has touched previously in the past that's that's the only reason why i'm marking them up like that you feel what i'm saying these are areas that it's touched it's touched in the past that it could possibly touch again at any time you feel me um especially if you're not paying attention or anything you know it can happen so either way go um again gpusd that's really what we really have for that as of right now we're just gonna really wait it out and see what it's gonna do whether it it uh, retests is up here before it breaks and goes down or whether it retests as they continue to go up at least to the top of the box to consolidate and makes his decision from there but other than that i'm gonna hold it out and wait um again i'm going with the bullish direction as of right now uh we we're, we're not gonna really do much today because again this is not really my trading day so other than that this is what we're gonna do this is what we're gonna this is what we're going with for today you feel me so today again is march 7th of monday beautiful monday you feel me so i hope you're having a beautiful day i'm having a beautiful day as well but one thing before i end this video one thing let's take a look at this G, this euro usd you feel what i'm saying I take a look at the euro usd because again i might end up getting in on this so as you can see as of right now we're looking at euro usd and it did end up breaking it through this fibonacci box that i did create this big green box as you can see when i zoom out this big green rectangular box i drew uh due to the fact from the highest point to the lowest point at least from that last month and uh it just now broke through that box indicating oh look see i drew this like a whole month ago you can go back to my previous videos when i drew that and it it blew through down like i should have just like you could possibly i could like literally swing these whole fucking trades down there like if if i just pay attention like i could literally swing these bitches like so yeah um at the end of the day i gotta do what i gotta do um as of right now i'm looking for a retest because it had once it did break through this box um hey it created a new low so what i could do is just literally stretch it stretch that oh you already know what i'm saying ha 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 i stretched it out because i could be looking for this retest and this retest could be coming right here so if i would like to i could get in um i'm trying to wait i could go ahead and put a nice little we're gonna zoom in a little bit so we can get a better entry to 30 minute we're gonna zoom in on a 30 minute so we can get a better entry because as of right now as we look i'm looking for at least up here for a retest because it did touch all the way down this is the last lowest so i don't think it's just going to continue to go lower than this as of right now you feel me as of right now I don't, i'm not seeing any candlesticks really providing that type of support that is going down again this is another uh, minor key level that i did place and um yeah it, it, it's pretty close to going down there and i wouldn't be surprised again if it does go down there due to the fact it has went down there in the past has went down there in the past but as of right now in order for me to know for sure that it wants to continue to go up i'm gonna go ahead and put this um this timer right here this alert right here just to know if it wants to continue to go up because as of right now it's look like it's consolidating right here in this area hasn't made a final decision whether it wants to continue to go down or whether it's ready for it to go up in the retest um again you can't rush these trades because they're gonna do what they want to do they're gonna do what they want to do um 
And yeah, they gonna move how they want to move. And again, as of right now, I just zoomed it out to an hour time frame just to see what it was gonna get ready to do right now. And as of you can see, it is creating this upper half, this higher, oh yeah, this upper half of the candlestick. And um, yeah, it's gonna leave a, a nice little wick, whether it's like this or whether it's like this. It's gonna leave a nice little wick on there, and it's gonna leave a wick at the bottom, whether it's real small or real long one. Uh, it really just depends on um, whether the buyers are buying, or whether the sellers are selling, you feel me? Or buyers are selling, you feel me? So um, that's how it's gonna go, and that's how it's going. As of right now, again, I put that that alert right here just to uh be for sure because if it breaks through right here this is the last like area that it consolidated the most and the last area it did create that wick at before it continued to go downwards with a downfall so as of right now if we used to draw a trend line it could smack off of it but it wouldn't correctly go through because it already kind of broke through so as we could just show example Oh, it hasn't smacked across it a little bit, but again, if it, uh, I guess I could leave that there. I don't really want to leave that there. I don't really like how that looks. Um, but again, if it crosses through here, then I can have a, um, you know, train of thought of whether it's going to, you know, I'm going to look at it and see whether the candlesticks look like it's creating momentum to go upwards or whether it's just kind of consolidating and whether it wants to, you know, uh, make its decision whether it wants to go down. But, you know, it's going to take its time and I'm going to take my time because you got to be patient with it because it does, um, you know, it's tricky. And that's why I blew my account last time because over trade and then they got tricky. <laughs> so you got to make sure you be careful. Make sure you be careful if you ever want to do this in time. If you ever want to do this in your life, uh, just know it's really fun. Um, it's not a it's not a game. It's not like a fun game. It's you know it's dealing with the actual capital and your your real capital if you decide to invest your actual capital into it. Um, and it's uh, challenging. But um, if you you know you work through it, you do your research, and you keep going hard each and every day until you die. Like I'm you know like I like to say, going hard each and every day until you die. <laughs> You know, you for sure can succeed in this and make a large amount of profit, you feel me? Because that's what it's all about in, in this life, you know? So, um, yeah, that's all I really got for you today. That's all I really got for you today. Again, on uh, your USD as of right now, I can't really do much because, again, um, I'm looking for a retest. So, I'm going to go with the upper again with the bearish market going upwards. Again, I'm looking for a retest, but we're not really for sure what it's going to do. So I'm just going to sit and wait it out a little bit. It may, again, just stop right here because it has done it in the past and continue down. So, hey, we can wait it out and see. I got I got this alert right here. So it'll let me know if, uh, if it did cross it or not, whether I want to do this or whether or not. <laughs> feel me so uh yeah again hey make sure you like subscribe and make sure you comment down below if you have any uh tips or uh anything you want to say anything you want me to do a video on you want me to add some more haircut videos in there even though i drop them boys each and every day you, you, uh even every other day you know what i'm saying so that's what i was trying to say um other than that hey i hope y'all enjoy your day thanks for watching hey live life have fun peace